Okay, so Ingrid Michaelson, I saw her I at a South the first time I saw her perform is at South by Southwest. I was there to see Joshua I was like I went to like the South by Southwest songwriters night or whatever and I was specifically there to see Joshua Raiden because I love Joshua Raiden. But they had a bunch of like LA artists that were performing. It was for hotel it was like a hotel cafe showcase. And so Ingrid Michaelson was one of the, the performers that night. That was the first time I saw her sing. And I was like, oh, my God, this girl's amazing. I'm going to start following her on MySpace. <laughs> so she had, a, she had, like, a couple albums out at the time. And so I, I listened to that MySpace religiously. She had posted a song on there that was not on an album. It was called The Chain. Venta Miglia. Venta Miglia. Venta Miglia. Um, she posted a song on there that was not on an album. And so I listened to her MySpace religiously. And we just, like, listened to the song. So she came to Orlando, did a show here at, like, this club. And I went to go see it with a bunch of friends. So she, so this song is The Chain. It's called The Chain. And it's around. Do you guys know what I mean? It's, like, around. It means, like, one person's, it's, like, if you ever seen, like, a, like, heard row, row, row your boat, it's, like, one person comes in, then the second person comes in and third person and it's like it's staggered right so the chain which was the song that she posted on her myspace is is around she only had one other singer that night and so she she said i want to sing this song the chain but we need a third person does anybody know this song and nobody in the audience knew it because it was only on myspace it wasn't on her albums i was literally the only person in the room who knew it and so like i didn't raise my hand at first I was just, and my friend nudged me. She, my friend Becca was with me. And she's nudging me. She's like, you know the song, don't you? And I was like, I do. And so she started like pointing at me. She's like, she knows the song. She knows the song. So Ingrid was like, she looked at me and she's like, well, come on up here. And so I hopped up on stage and, um, and she was like, so you know, like nowhere to come in. I was like, yeah, I think I know how to do this. So I, so it was her, this artist called Ali Moss. And then me, I did the third part. So I got up and sang with Ingrid Michaelson on stage spontaneously. I was nervous, but I was also just really excited to be up there singing. I, what was amazing is like, I was just, um, so that was, I, I thank MySpace for that because that was literally the only reason I knew the song and nobody else in the room because I was the only like weirdo who was like listening to MySpace. So yeah, I got up on stage and sang the song with, with her. No, I'm on PS5. Uh, and then that was like one of the that was probably one of the coolest things that ever happened. And they were they were like so excited that I actually knew the song. Um, so I I did the song and uh, got back off stage. And then she did the whole rest of the set. It was amazing. And at the end of the end of the night, she's like, "Where's Where's Melissa? Bring Melissa back up on stage." She like remembered my name, and she's like, "Sing, let's come up back up here and sing the last song with us." And I didn't actually know that song, but I just faked it. <laughs> yeah. But then I found out later that when she actually released that song on, on an album, she would actually do that at every concert after that, um, where she would like ask whoever knew the song to just sing the third part. So I thought that was cool. But I, I like to think that I was the one that started that tradition at the show. 